I'm Harry Wynn. And I'm Desiree Ramon. And, and this, this is KTGR, KTGR News. News. On a small island in the Persian Gulf, cutters become one of the wealthiest countries in the world, and while it is unlikely that they are to launch any sort of military attack on foreign nations, thanks to their enormous oil and natural gas reserves, they have become one of the most harmful influences in the Middle East and a key supporter of terrorist groups. Located on a peninsula jutting out of Saudi Arabia, it is slightly smaller than Connecticut and has a population of only about 2.3 million. However, Qatar is endangering America's Arab allies and our ally Israel by bankrolling terrorists, inciting violence and hatred throughout its state-funded Al Jazeera TV network, and collaborating with the far more powerful and virulently anti-American Islamic Republic of Iran. Because Qatar poses such a danger to the region, Saudi Arabia and its Persian Gulf allies have blockaded the country since June. They have closed Qatar's borders with Saudi Arabia and prevented many planes and cargo ships from landing and docking, docking in Qatar. Bizarrely, the United States maintains a military base in Qatar, so we can fight against terrorists. But at the same time, the Qataris are providing support for said terrorist groups that are fighting against America's allies in the region. However, we, we are still waiting for any notion that President Trump will take action in Qatar. Stephen William Hawking, born January 8, 1942, theoretical physicist, cosmologist, author, and influencer of the scientific world. His work on subjects such as a gravitational singularity theorems, general relativity, and the theoretical prediction that black holes emit radiation has been internationally recognized due to the unfortunate news of his death on March 14th of 2018. We would like to commemorate the death of one of Britain's greatest minds. At an early age, Stephen Hawking was diagnosed with motor neuron disease, otherwise known as ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, and gradually became more and more paralyzed over the years. He graduated from St. Albans, Albans School in 1952. He did not attend college until 1959 and later graduated from college in 1965. From 1966 onward, Stephen Hawking continued to work on physics and cosmology and published his first book, The Large Scale Structure of Space Time, in 1973. He began to move into studying quantum gravity and quantum mechanics and returned to his college in 1975 as a reader in gravitational physics. Up into the late 2000s, he continued to publish his work and research until he passed away on a tragic day in March this year. It is an amazing feat that Stephen Hawking lived as long as he did with his disabilities, and we should come to appreciate his contributions to the science world. Tigerland yearbooks are set to be released soon with the conclusion of the school year. Now, here's Brandon with more information on the yearbook. Hey Tigers, Brandon here. Yearbooks are sentimental to the students and faculty of Consol. And today, we'll get a look at what goes on in yearbook. The class meets fourth to fifth period every single day and even meets sometimes after school. My position is co-editor-in-chief. Um, so basically what that means is that, is that there's two of me, which helps out a lot with the tasks that are my position and um, our other editor, um, what the tasks make us do. In your book, you learn how to use programs like InDesign and Photoshop. One day I could be working on like my personal spread and like working on the story and the photos and like the captions that go along with them. Or other days I could be looking at another staffer's spread. You can still pre-order your yearbook at Balfour.com by finding your school, clicking yearbook, and filling in the information. What we do in yearbook is we actually create and publish the yearbook that comes out in May. Um, we spend a lot of time 
taking uh, pictures of all the events at school, all of the extracurricular activities and clubs. We, uh, the students in the class do all of the interviewing, they write all the stories, um, they take all the pictures, they create the layouts. This year, 342 people pre-ordered their yearbook before January 31st and were put into a drawing for an Apple Watch Series 3. Hannah Chang. Hannah Chang! Yeah. Yay. Congratulations! <laughs> well, Tigers, this has been Brandon, signing off. On February 28th, a televised meeting in the White House was held. The topic at hand was guns and what to do with them. Stunning Republicans, Trump is actually for gun control and, is act and even suggested that he might back a ban of assault-type weapons. President Trump stated that he would also t like to change the legal age to buy a rifle from 18 to 21. He even went as far as to say to lawmakers, you can't just be sitting ducks, and that's exactly what we've allowed people in buildings and schools to be. As of right now, it is unclear as to what sort of outcome we will see for, as the NRA, the National Rifle Association, and many others in meetings are opposed to what the President Trump is saying. So we will see if anything will come of this. Next, here's Lena with some news about the engineering and construction classes here at AMCHS. Hey Tigers, I'm Lina Rueda, here to talk to you guys today about the engineering and construction classes our school offers. Mr. Roberts teaches the engineering and construction classes here at AMCHS. We're in principles of applied engineering and it teaches us the basics and overall general idea of what engineering is. We learned a lot about shop safety and how to properly handle all the tools, so like for future it would be really useful if you need to make anything yourself and as an engineer you need to make prototypes and so in the shop it's a really useful skill to have. In his architecture and construction class students focus on learning shop safety and how to build safe structures. There's a lack of the female gender. <laughs> Although Mr. Roberts has mentioned wanting to get more girls into the class. And he's very supportive. Mr. Roberts is very supportive to the girls in the class and treats everyone equally. But and he really does want to make our class more diverse. And we do talk about like harassment in the workplace mm -hmm. and um, discrimination as well. Yeah, he likes to make us really aware of that, and he's very aware of how the current state of things is for girls in engineering and women in general. In engineering classes, they focus on learning technological skills like SOLIDWORKS while still learning shop safety. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm Lina Rueda and this is KTGR News. We'll be right back after these messages. I was addicted to pulling fire alarms. I used to not wear my ID to class. I used to have an addiction to opening doors for strangers. I was addicted to kicking over trash cans. In one way or another, those fools endangered your school. Help keep your school safe by following these two tips. Always wear your ID and never let anyone in, even if they have a school ID on. It's time to change. I recovered. I recovered. I recovered. I recovered. And so can you. And so can you. And so can you. And so can you. Make sure to stay safe, Tigers. Director, comedian, and actor Jordan Peele made history by being the first black nominee for the Oscars' biggest categories, Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Screenplay. His 2017 movie, Get Out, won Best Original Screenplay. Peele says, I want to dedicate this to all the people who raised my voice and let me make this movie. It only goes up from here. Jordan also revealed that he stopped making his award-winning award movie 20 times because he thought it was impossible for Get Out to win an award. Little did he know that his impossible awarded movie would be in the three biggest categories of the Oscars. 
Here's Lacey Washington with some information on the Lady Tigers softball team. Hey Tigers, Lacey here, and today I'm going to show you what the Lady Tigers softball team is up to. The Lady Tigers softball team have been working their tails off on the field. These girls love to cheer on their fellow teammates with endless positivity spilling out from a dugout. Most of them make up chance on the spot at every game. Every girl on the team shows a genuine love for the game on the field and off the field. I wanted to figure out what softball means to them and what makes the team so special. I sat down with a few of the teammates to see their own responses. Softball means to me um, like a family in a barn where you get to have friends and be with each other. And my team is special because we get to have fun and get to teach one another and have and figure out each other's personalities. Softball is a very important thing for me because I've done it ever since I was young, so it's like a memory. And my team is special because we're all family and we will always help one another when we are down. Well, that's all I have for you today, Tigers. This has been Lacey Washington with KTGR News. Have a Tigerific day. We'll be right back after a short break. Hey, dude, what are you doing? What? What did you just do with that trash? I was just getting rid of my bottle. There's a trash can right there, dude. You threw your ball on the ground. Therefore, you littered. You littered. I did not litter. Yes, you did. It's the custodian's job, not no, it's, mine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's, it's not, not mine. No, my fault. You littered. No, I didn't. You littered. No, I didn't. You littered. Not my job. You went hunt. Yes, There's you did. No, I did not. It's just that easy, guys. Last week was spring break. We cut to our man on the street, Willie Allen. What are you doing for spring break? Uh, shoot, probably hopefully going to my grandmother's house and going fishing or something. What are you doing for spring break? Um, I have no plans, but I might just hang out with friends. What are you doing for spring break? I actually have no clue right now. What are you doing for spring break? Um, I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. What are you doing for spring break? Uh, I'll be going on a math camp actually. What are you doing for spring break? Going to Florida. What are you going to do in Florida? Go fishing. What are you going to fish for? Stuff. Ah. One week later. What'd you do for spring break? Really nothing. I didn't do anything, bro. Where'd you get those stylish pants? From Target. Dude, they got good stuff out there. Yeah, bro. It's cheap. What did you do for spring break? I went to Dallas and tried out French horns. It was really cool. What did you do for spring break? Uh, I went to my mom's for like half the week. I mean, I worked the first part, then went to my mom's. What'd you do? Uh, a lot of crying. Why? Wish I knew. What did you do for spring break? I went to Universal Studios and saw Harry Potter World. Well, what house are you? Gryffindor. It's a lie, you're a Hufflepuff and you know it. This has been Willie Allen, your man on the street. It's that time of year again, and with the Stuco elections this week, here are some messages from our candidates. and I'm running for sophomore class president. I'm currently your freshman class president and I have had many previous leadership experiences as well. 
please vote me, Sonia Patel, to be your next sophomore class president. Hello, my name is Reese Wright, and I would love to be your next sophomore class president. I love student council and I'm very dedicated to it. I am also in other extracurricular activities such as GSA, theater, environmental club, and choir, and will work very hard in a leadership position. I will work with the students to see their ideas and opinions so we can make our high school career as great as possible. I hope to get your vote in this year's election. Thank you. Hi, I'm Peter Ramirez. I'm going to be your class of 2020 junior class president. Hey Tigers, my name is Rithika Anapredi. I'll be your senior class president for the 2018-2019 school year. Hello, my name is Benjamin McGuffey and I'm running for student body vice president. I am by far the best candidate for the position because of my work ethic and dedication to student council. It may sound weird, but I enjoy helping the school with event planning and setup, organizing the school dances, and making fundraisers. Both the current student body president, Lacey, and next year's student body president, Ellie, have both given me their support, and I also have the support of a large amount of student council. If you at all care who wins this election, you should certainly vote for me. But if you don't at all care for who wins this election, I'd still like it if you'd vote for me. Keep it weird, Consul. Hi, I'm Hart Ray, and I'm running for student body vice president. I'm running because I care about the school and everyone in it. I think you should vote for me because I am a dedicated leader and committed to spending time with the school. And that produces a great student body vice president. Vote for Hart. A wise man once said, it's not our abilities that reveal who we truly are, but our choices. When faced with a plethora of choices, how must we make the right one? The only wrong choice is the lack of one. Go ahead, infuse your life with action. Choose wisely, choose your future, our future. A brighter tomorrow lies in your hands. Today, I choose listening to those who need to be heard. I choose being a voice for those without one. I choose standing up for what's right. I choose respecting everyone's differences. It's time for you to choose who you want to lead this school. Hi, my name is Coleman Maxwell, and I'm running for student body vice president. Before you choose who you want to lead the school, I'd like to tell you my top two accomplishments this year as sophomore class president. Number one, this school year, we had the largest recorded attendance at homecoming, the City of Lights. And number two, under my leadership, we've raised a total amount of $10,500 for the sophomore class. If you vote for me, I assure you that you'll be led with strength, integrity, and I promise to be a loyal, committed student body vice president. Hey Tigers, my name is Ellie Garrett and I'll be your student body president for the 2018-2019 school year.
I'm Harry Wynn. And I'm Desiree Ramon. And, and this, this has, has been, been KTGR, KTGR News. News.